<laughs> Good morning. Good morning, evening, friends. Oh, yeah. I'm your friendly announcer. And I got some serious news, too. Okay, that's enough. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I have to make this kind of quick because I'm on my way to my physical therapist. Um, so I just wanted to jump on here real quick and um, touch on a few things. Uh, f first is... Dear Brittany Griner, now I know that you was in that Russian jail for a long time and it's got you feeling like uh, this is what I'm suspecting anyway. That mm, I can save the world, but you can't. Uh, this is what you're trying to do. Now, I done heard you to made a statement about transgenders need to be able to come. Uh, competes in women's sports and for the life of me I can't understand why you would cut off your own nose to spite your face why would you participate in your own demise why would you do that let me ask you something Brittany have you ever noticed that there's no Women being Joanna man. Uh, they trying to see if, you know, Becky Hammond can coach the Toronto Raptors. And I don't think it's a good idea. You know, she can stay an assistant. That's all I mean. I just don't feel that. See, all this forcing type of shit. Is really a problem for me. But you can't. <laughs> okay. Let me. Let me not take it personal. And let me calm down. Let me stick to this. Right now. Let me stick to this. Brittany. You're not doing yourself no good. By wishing men. To play. In a WNBA. Honey. You being real. Foolish. Okay. Because your ass gonna be out of a job. Period. And you better know that now. And I'm sure there's a few. Because this stuff is going way too far. Look. I'm old enough to tell y'all. It's been gay people around all through time. Even when I was a teenager. I remember staring at a, a cross dresser one time. Because I just couldn't believe. That that was a guy. And we were at the bus stop. And I was just staring. And obviously my lip was hanging down. So he put, put your lip up, baby. Okay? And that was the end of that. I put my lip up. And I've, I've always respected people. Okay? I don't give a damn what they do. I respect people. But what I don't respect is you trying to force m madness on me. You know. Um, when I say that, I'm saying, where are the women trying to get into the NBA? And why aren't they? Why are these men? I don't have to call you men now. See, you, you blew it. Why are these men so freaking obsessed with getting into the damn women's game. Look at all these damn men that's saying they transgender now and they going into the prisons and all these women are coming up pregnant. This ain't no game, y'all. See, that's what my mama meant. And I'm trying to tell y'all because most of y'all is psychotic listening to these demons. If I give you an inch and you take a mile, then I'm going to shut all the damn shit down. Okay? 
Hear me and hear me good. You cannot go over to Africa and tell them they need to be gay. They need to be accepting of transgender and all that shit. You can't do that over in other people's country. The fucking arrogance. The fucking pompousness. Whether I agree with it or not, whether I don't have a problem with it or not, I certainly wouldn't be foolish enough. I wouldn't be arrogant and pompous enough to sit up there and tell other people in their country, well, we're going to cut off y'all aid if you don't deal with homosexuals. They ain't telling us what to do over here. See, this has gone mad. You understand what I'm saying now? Somebody call in the Calvary, like Gil Scott said, please, please call in the Calvary. Oh, my God. Stop this perception of freedom gone mad. It has gone damn mad. I don't think no more men should bring their asses over in the WNBA. I don't think no men should be in the MMA. That's why the chick got her skull freaking crushed. This shit has got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Now, y'all ain't got to like this video at all. I don't give a damn. You may not do a drag show in front of my damn grandchild. That I'm not having that shit. Okay? Coming to her school to give a drag show. That shit is crazy. It is insane. Okay? However... I have taken my child, my grandchild, I've taken my child to an all-inclusive picnic. Because, see, back when I was coming up, people didn't act a goddamn, oops, people didn't act a fool. And fairy princess, they ass all up and down the damn uh, park. And try to force they living on other people. We have respect for people. If we were gay, okay, we respected the people who weren't because they respected us. And it's like, what is this? What is happening now is truly insanity. And I'm going to have to say it. I got to say it. Oh, my God. I don't understand this. I cannot believe I saw... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, anyway, I cannot believe it, but it's happening. I saw Kamala Harris over them telling them about the aid they're not going to get if they don't agree to this perception of freedom going mad. And so they standing strong in Uganda, in Kenya, and all these other African countries. Because, see, listen. Um... When you gay, you know, I don't know not one gay person that chose this life. Chose a life where people would reject you. Chose a life where people wouldn't like you. Chose a life where you would be ridiculed. Who in the hell would choose that for themselves? Nobody. So don't be foolish. And because I accept you and who you are and what you do, don't mean I want you to try to push that off on my grandchildren. I don't expect you because, and I'm going to tell you something else, all through time. That's why I said they, you know, this might be going off the ca a case a little bit. You got R. Kelly in jail when every woman, Every woman, I don't care if she in her 50s, her 40s, her 30s, her 20s, have had older men uh, have um, sex with them. Okay? Now that this Me Too movement has come along, back in the day, your grandparents and all them used to encourage you and push you to be with us, especially in the South, an older man. Okay? 
Because, so there's a lot of, look at the Pointer sisters. I, shit, they father was probably 60, 50 years old, allegedly, when they were, some of them were born. See, so when society changes, okay, I can deal with that. If I, if you live long enough and you're blessed enough, you've seen some things. But now I'm saying, this, they didn't let Pandora box them went crazy. And let me tell you something. While I love and I accept humanity, the devil makes evil fair seem. Some things just ain't right. And the devil gonna make it seem like, oh, it's okay. And this ain't no, because I'm trying to get you to be religious or anything like that. I just want you to understand this. The spirit of the devil makes every damn thing okay. Whether you molest kids, Namni, or what? It, what is it called? Not Namni. What is it called? Men and on boy love and all. See, that's a problem. Okay, and if you like that, in this country, you will be prosecuted for. It. That means all the way around. That means every time we find somebody doing that, they should be punished. Right. Okay, but what happens when it, when you got a whole black batch of them? What happens then? And how far do we go back? Because there's a whole lot of my friends got their fathers is, is was, was they grandfathers. Let me get off of here. Because, I, you know, like I said, Call in the cavalry to change this perception of freedom gone mad. Brittany Griner, you out of order. You and, uh, what's her name, Rap Rapino, y'all y'all gonna cut off y'all nose to spite y'all face, okay? Now, um, you putting yourself in a position where there's no women going over to these men's sports and they ain't playing over there. Because if they would, they'd knock your damn heads off. I have a friend that tried to wrestle with the guy. She was pretty good. She wrestled in high school. She was really good. And then when she got to college, the, the coach purposely let them break her damn neck. She had problems with her neck to this day and she in her 50s. So I know what it's like to try to integrate sports with, with femininity or females. That shit don't work. It's only one-sided. And how come it's only the men's? White men doing every damn thing they want to do. Making rules to do everything crazy. Whether it's racism, racism, to take uh, books out of school. Always crazy white men doing this kind of stuff. And I think it's a travesty because it's killing the human family. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next uh, video. Calling out around the world.